mainly like marginal gap, micro leakage, and uh, recurrent carries. Uh, so the several techniques have done to promote and uh, to overcome these drawbacks, such as soft start, uh, polymerization, layering technique, and recently, but not last, uh, like uh, pre-warming of composite resin in a calcite device. Uh, so our material and the methods used in the study uh, were uh, using a calcite device, which is consists of three parts. The heater, which acts as thermoregulator, it starts from temperature uh, green as uh, 15 temperature rising to 54 orange temperature and then red temperature from 54 to 60 degree. And the tray and the cover. Uh, grouping according to temperature applied for this system was based on uh, three uh, temperature, group 10 and 10 degree, which is the refrigerated temperature, uh, room temperature act as control group for 24 degrees, and finally the preheated temperature, which used calcite device from 54 to 60 degree. These groups were subdivided on six subgroups according to composite applied where subgroup 1A and 2C and 3E were received a nanohybrid composite, composite grain Divoco, and the other uh, groups will uh, be supplied with microhybrid uh, composite uh, resin field tech Z250. <coughs> uh, these uh, six subgroups will be assessed for micro leakage assessment on 30 sound molars free of caries or any crack and the Another uh, study was based on the micro hardness assessment based on composite resin discs of two millimeter thickness. So this is the standardization of the cavity were made in a buccal angle and buccal angle direction uh, uh, as a five uh, uh, plus five cavity preparation on both buccal and angle surface of teeth. Sorry. Uh, and then we used the preheated device. It was uh, a minimum base of this one eventually. Has been a Sorry, if you swat. Attention to the available cup coming. Uh, لو سمحتوا يا جماعة في حد فتح الصوت من فضلكم. في صوت. في حد فتح الصوت لو سمحتوا close the the voice. Yes. Uh, it was suggested by uh, Knight et al. in 2006 that uh, we have to put the, the composite syringes in uh, from one to two millimeter uh, minutes in order to gain the most accepted temperature uh, used uh, to use it in the sculpture device, then introduced to the cavity preparation. The cavity that was done uh, in the following steps as shown: finishing and polishing, and fi finally found the final restoration. This is the steps used for thermocycle uh, for uh, micro leakage assessment, starting by the thermocycling and uh, grouping of teeth, then adding to the methylene blue dye, and then sectioning of teeth in a buccolingual direction. Uh, after that, specimens were uh, were assessed according to micro leakage scoring criteria, which was done by Arsenal et al. Uh, according uh, to a zero and three uh, scoring criteria where it's obtained how extend to the uh, axial wall. Stereomicroscopic examination revealed that the refrigerated composite and microheat uh, uh, shown a scoring criteria from zero to three also how to extend to the axial wall as we can see in the figures for nano hybrid and for micro hybrid with extend to the axial wall. Uh, regarding the control group, there was a most extended uh, leak occurred uh, extending through hole, the axial wall involving hole, the axial wall, and also uh, in the microhybrid composite. Uh, regarding the preheated composite, uh, honestly, it differs from zero to three scoring criteria. Here there is zero, no leakage at all, but the other uh, specimens showed scoring, two scoring criteria, and others showed three scoring criteria involving the axial wall for nano hybrid and this for micro hybrid also there is a scoring three scoring criteria and one scoring criteria here the we can see a one scoring criteria and also a three scoring criteria involving in our uh, test to know the penetration other step we're going to talk about the micro hardness assessment to step the mechanical properties of our composite uh, after a uh, photopolymerization after pre-warming we can see that we finished the discs and obtained in the and the sorry in the teflon mold obtaining the last discs then we are going to assess the, doing it with vickers testing micro hardness machine 
as a, to, to measure the Vickers micro hardness test uh, in regarding bottom and lower uh, as a bottom and up assessment. Our results show that for micro leakage assessment, you can see the six subgroups regarding uh, cervical um, occlusal and cervical margin. Uh, regarding the cervical margin, uh, the preheated group so shows the least micro leakage uh, for the nano hybrid composite, then a uh, uh, micro hybrid composite of preheated group. But this is uh, doesn't prevent the total extent of micro leakage. Also, in the cervical, uh, there was the least micro leakage found in the preheated, uh, followed by uh, the micro hybrid group, uh, but we can assume from this that it's not a significant, a, a true significant difference, as uh, it's also uh, in present uh, leakage. It doesn't prevent leakage, but it's can we can say that it decreases the extent of our leak uh, due to preheating. Uh, regarding micro hardness assessment for top and bottom vectors micro hardness assessment. Uh, we can see that preheated group uh, showed to be highest micro leakage, uh, highest uh, micro hardness compared to the control group, which is group two uh, from the top Vickers micro hardness. Also for the bottom Vickers micro hardness, it was highest compared to the control group. But we noticed honestly in this study that uh, refrigerated uh, temperature composite uh, showed the highest micro hardness uh, in its uh, results compared to the other groups. And we assume that uh, this is due to uh, the, according to the uh, studies, also showed that this due to the polymerization takes longer time. It acts as a softer start polymerization reaction where it increased the pre-gel phase of uh, our uh, work. So it have a very good uh, start to start our more free radical polymerization and leading to more cross sinkers to be formed then finally reaching the vitrification point which will be have a more slower time to be more curing and therefore least residual uh, stresses uh, sorry least free, mo free monomer present this leads to our uh, results that's how we noticed that the uh, refrigerators was higher and this comes in agreement with uh, the Magro et al. in uh, 2011. So we can conclude from our study that preheating uh, to 54 to 60 degrees Celsius didn't prevent the micro leakage, but it's affected on the marginal adaptation of the composite resin materials to the cavity wall. It was more flowable and more adapted, uh, especially in Z2 uh, nano hybrid composite like uh, VOCO. Uh, it was uh, more flowable than a micro hybrid composite and maybe this related to the filler size that present in the composite itself and also preheating lower the viscosity of resin composite materials where it is introduction to the cavity by increasing its flowability. Uh, we can say that preheat preheating composite uh, could enhance micro hardness of uh, composite resin in relation to uh, uh, control group at room temperature. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ayman, for your nice presentation. Uh, oh. uh, 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 journal of uh, Alexandria Dental Journal. Yes, I'm sure. فالحقيقة يعني ال يعني المفروض الريجيليشنز بتاع الكومبيتيشن المفروض ان يكون البحث ما ما اتعملش قبل كده وما اتنشرش ما يعني ما ما حصلوش برزنتيشن في الكونفرنس ويكون ما اتنشرش وانا سالت بصراحه يا دكتور حضرتك لا في الريجيليشنز يعني وحضرتك قلت لي ممكن بان هو ما اتنشرش انترناشونال انا اعمل بيه برزنتيشن في الهاتون كومبيتيشن جاست يعني ك اكسبيرمنتال او ترايل يعني انا نشرت طبعا في جورنال اوف الكساندريا دنتال جورنال يعني المفروض الكساندريا دنتال اه انا نشرته طبعا والله 
انا الحقيقه بنتهز الفرصه دي بصراحه يعني ان انا يعني يعني نحيي او يعني إن نترحم على الاستاذ الدكتور ابراهيم الجيار الحقيقه انا اشتغلت معاه قبل كده والحقيقه يعني استاذ فاضل والواحد يعني يحمل له كل خير فدي يعني كويس ان انت حضرتك بتظهري هذا الامر لكن برضو انا ده مش معنى كده ان احنا ما نناقشكيش في البحث لانه برضو يعني اتعمل اتعمل شغل كويس فانا انا بس يعني برضو من كلامك اللي انت قلتيه ان انت قلتي ان حصل ادابتيشن كويس لكن في نفس الوقت كان في المايكرو ليكج ديدت يعني افكتد باي باي ذيس بريهيدي فترجعي هذا الامر لايه؟ هو دكتور المايكرو ليكج مينلي يعني ديبندز اون ذا بوليمرايزيشن يعني reaction that occurred and the depth of cure uh, and curing time that occurred for the composite uh, restoration uh, not related uh, to uh, preheated uh, composite or not it doesn't depend on the change in temperature of the material it I depends on the depth of cure Uh, it enhances due to the flowability of the material and its viscoelastic properties. يعني when I was working with it uh, in, uh, in, the, in, in the study, during the study, during the experiment, uh, we noticed that uh, VOCO uh, يعني, uh, grand you, it was so flowable and uh, it really act like a flowable uh, composite and it was flowed uh, quickly in the cavity margins, adapted to the cavity margins. So the, I, I think that this is... Uh, without heating, hatta, without heating? No, 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 after heating, after heating, oh. reaching the temperature from 54 to 60, it became more flowable. Okay. Not in comparison to microhybrid composite, which is not as much as flow as this, uh, as one. And we related this to the types of filler content, the nanohybrids have more nano filler particles, which could be enhance its prob flow prob probability, not like microhybrid fillers, uh, which have more size particles. That notice was noticed, and it was in agreement with other uh, studies, well, Eusternik et al, who found same lizards as me. So that was my conclusion. Yeah, I want to hint it about it. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, any questions from the panel, please? Thank you, Dr. Insane. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you, Dr. Imam, for your uh, nice presentation. You Thanks. explain, you mentioned that refrigerated sample, you've got a significant increase in micro hardness. Compared and to, uh, yeah, compa yeah, compared to uh, preheated, yeah, it was fine. And this is, was the, the contradiction that found in our results, yeah, and you obtained yeah, uh, like this. Yeah, this is what I would like to ask you about, actually, because you explain the refrigerated sample on increasing, the increase in micro hardness due to the increase of time to reach the bridge, for the brigel phase, yeah? Yes, so increasing the brigel phase. The increase, yeah, how can you explain the increase in micro hardness when you heat your samples? Uh, it was found that when you heat our samples quickly, uh, it's, uh, it, we increase the vitrification point, reaching the vitrification point uh, quickly. Uh, and uh, this allow a free radical formation uh, of uh, monomers and polymers quick. So uh, this is allow a, a more cross-linking formation of and for more formation of polymers and oligomers, which increase uh, up in the, the The, the least the micro the the spe the crease the you know, which lead to increase the micro hardness specimen and has uh, has more great of rate of conversion for uh, uh, a, a lot of uh, uh, polymer uh, found at last of the of reached vitrification point early that make it hard the difference between refrigerated and preheated we assume that the, the prolonged phase of the pre-gel and allow more free radical to be present and allow more act and that act as a soft start polymerization, having a lot of uh, another free radical formed uh, other than that formed normally. But this allowed to be more cross linkers formed and more polymer formed, uh, leading to the results that I obtained in the study, that mm -hmm. was assumed. Actually, this is the opposite, you know, when you explain both of them, that, you know, looking at the brief, uh, brief gel phase, 
either increase or decrease, you are using exactly the same for you know either preheated, uh, refrigerated or heated sample. So the, uh, I think this is you know I have a feeling that this is a contradiction in your explanation. Do, do you agree with me or not? Uh, honestly, I was contradicted uh, first يعني, when I obtained these results and also يعني, Dr. Rona was my examiner once and they, they noticed that with Dr. Ahmed Zayari that it was a contradiction in my study. Uh, but this is the results honestly that I obtained. يعني, I didn't want to uh, play with my results, but I uh, presented as it is and I tried to find an explanation that uh, I, يعني, um, comes with my agreement uh, so i found it with uh, the magro et al who uh, found this uh, explanation also and he assumed that started with a soft start uh, which prolonged the, the the phase so i i found it to be more uh, reliable with me with my studies and i stated it in my my research paper in my search work thank you dr Iman. thank you dr insani so Any other question? Uh, Dr. Hamdi, تفضل. Uh, Dr. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, the mic is muted. Uh, uh, your, your mic is muted. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Uh, thank you, Dr. Present, thank you. Your, uh, you present your data as it is. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, دايما انا اقولها تو امبروف الاول انا راجل كلاسيك فبقرا البرزنتيشن الابستراكت تمام اخر سطر في الماتيريال والميثودز تمام انت محدده الاحصاء وانا شايف ان هي صح مش غلط تمام يعني انت اشتغلتي على الانوفا تمام في انوفا لازم تبقى محدديه وان واي او تو واي وان واي انوفا اه نكتبها مفيش مشكله تمام حاضر واف تاني فاي سكوير انت ما اشتغلتيش كله في كله تمام؟ يعني لما جيتي اشتغلتي المارجن السكورنج اشتغلتي بيها الكاي سكوير، تمام؟ لما بدأت تشتغلي بالحاجات اللي فيها سم سورت اوف ديتا، تمام؟ اشتغلتي فيها، ففي الريزلتس للأسف الريفلكشن بتاعه مش واضح، تمام؟ أنت هنا قلتي إيه؟ إن لو سيجنيفيكانس، أنهي تيست اللي قال لك إن لو سيجنيفيكانس، تمام؟ ووراها الكاي سكوير أنت بدأت تشرحي فيه، تمام؟ الريزلت. أه. فالحاجات دي يعني أنت عارفة المكتوب مهم جدا جدا لأن اللي بيقرأ في الأول هيقرأ اللي مكتوب. دي دي نقطة تمام؟ okay. فمعلش الحاجة دي لما نيجي إن شاء الله نعمل لها أبلودينج على الويب سايت بتاع شندو نظبط بس الحاجات دي ولو عاوزة أي هيلب مني أنا هبص عليه تمام؟ الجزء الثاني أنا هقول لك أنا واحد ودي جاست از ماي أوبينيون مش مقتنع بالبري هيتنج مع إني عملت عليه شغل كتير جدا تمام؟ كلينيكالي <تصفيق> أنا فروم كلينيكال بوينت أوف فيو أنا شايف الجزء بتاع الماتيريالز أوكي إتس فاين تمام؟ لكن فروم كلينيكال بوينت أوف فيو تمام؟ خصوصا لما تبقي في ديب كابيتس انت ايه رايك هل بري هيتنج 60 تمام احنا بنوصل لحد 60 درجه اوكي كود هاف ان انفلوينس ان سم ثور وي هاف اباوت تمام والنقطه الثانيه والاهم انت بتغيري طبعا انت اشتغلتي ماتيريالز هي مش مكتوب ان هي بري هيتد يعني الماتيريال دي كانت اوريجينالي بتنزل في الروم تمبريتشر تمام ان اوصلها ل 60 درجه تمام الافكت بتاعي على الريزن ماتريكس لان انا هنا مش هيتاثر عندي الفيلر لو حد في سخانته 100 درجه اوكي لكن الفيلر هنا الريزن ماتريكس دو يو اجري ات ويل هاف سام انفلوينس اند امباكت اون ذس ايفن ات انكريس فلوابيلتي بات ان لونج تيرم وات ويل هابن فانت ايه رايك في في ده عرفيني بس ولا دكتور اي ثينك يعني رايك بالنسبه للبالب افكت اون بالب يرفرس افكت اوف بالب يا ات مي بي ات ويل افكت بات ذير از ا ستادي ذات ستيت ذات فروم هيتنج فروم ذا ديفايس فروم ريتشينج 60 تمبرشر اند انتل ابلاينج تو ذا كافيتي ذير هابنز ا دروب داون ان ذا تمبرشر مي بي تو 20 تو 30% ذس ميك ات Changed like it will be almost like room temperature, or not, not, not like the same as uh, high temperature. Uh, it's adverse will not be affected. I will the fillers, uh, I will uh, resin matrix. I agree with Hadratak and Akif, there will be a change uh, in the amount uh, of fillers uh, or in the amount of resin matrix when preheated to 60 degrees and returned back to uh, 15 or 10 degrees. Uh, uh, different, uh, different uh, action, yeah. I'm sure there is a different reaction. That's why maybe I, I presented my study. But uh, if I myself doing a preheating now uh, in my clinical practice, yani in the faculty already, uh, honestly, no. 
uh, I having the device, yeah, I'm using it, but I didn't uh, use it uh, applicable everyday practice. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, the study was made to uh, to see if this uh, the preheating device is it a commercial type that uh, we can go through and all of us in our clinics could use a pre preheated uh, composite or not. Yeah, yeah. And I think that most of us uh, used it at, at, at room temperature or maybe at refrigerated temperature too. Yeah. Uh, thank uh, you, thank and, you. And, and الحقيقة, we are running out of time, but ناخد آخر تعليق من الدكتورة إلهام. تفضلي حضرتك. Thank you, thank you, Iman, uh, and uh, thank you, doctor, for your confidence, your presentation style, uh, and uh, I just would like uh, to emphasize one thing uh, when we start doing any research, because uh, I've been witnessing lately that. We, on, we don't look at two things, the availability of the equipment and materials, as you mentioned, uh, and the easiness and the technique sensitivity and the cost of the treatment. Because every time we uh, attempt to do some research, we overlook all what is about cost in the treatment that we are um, uh, supplying uh, or we are uh, addressing. To so always please, as the researchers, put in your mind that uh, with our economic status and limitations and the possibility of um, allowing uh, more um, personnel uh, to use and to address our uh, research, make sure that it is um, economically of value and uh, technique sensitivity wise is uh, um, more or less um, uh, minimized. Can you tell us a little bit about the technique sensitivity of your uh, process in one word? Um, technique system applying composite uh, to the restoration to the cavity yes it, it's, a bit it's, more it's better to be uh, in um, compules uh, according to my study uh, to take it from the tubes and entered with its flowability it was uh, somewhat somehow sensitive yeah and it could alter also the temperature that you are yes um, especially that the room temperature affects whether you are during summertime, uh, winter time. It's always, uh, um, it, it, there are a lot of uh, variables uh, during uh, this process. Uh, yeah. What sensitivities have you encountered, please, during your work? Uh, I said maybe the introduction to cavity walls. It was difficult to take it from the tube uh, in, and insert it in the cavity. That was uh, the only yes, most of it. Yeah, mostly. Yeah. Yes. But the other steps, finishing and uh, during assessment, uh, it was uh, smoothly. No, the, the only building was there any specific instruments that you needed to use uh, in order to apply your material? I applied it using a Teflon tape coated uh, plastic filling instrument. Uh, uh, and also with gold plated, it was uh, nice to be added inside the cavity, uh, but it was more uh, difficult during uh, application. Uh, when another uh, recently uh, uh, saw another papers that it's worked on uh, compules of composites, uh, the compules maybe make it introduction to the cavity more easier and um, more accepted yeah, to insert it directly to the restoration to the cavity. Thank you. There are a lot of limitations uh, related to uh, this um, technique and there are a lot of uh, techniques and activities as well. Thank you so much, Iman. Thank you, Dr. Mercy. Thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Iman, and uh, see you in the next se and session. Dr. Mona. Uh, uh, sorry, Dr. Mona. Uh, 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 أنا yes. uh, طبعا أنا قشتها قبل كده the whole thesis فمش أنا مش هنقشها أصلا بس oh. بقول لها uh, أولا uh, it's full of work you have the device I mm -hmm. do and إنك تعملي to submit again في الأفريكا هيلث كون اللي هو اللي جاي بتاع جون يا ريت أو... والله أنا بحفز الجميع إن هم إن هم تو أبلاي فعلا في في المؤتمر اللي جاي ده والميزه ان هو فعلا الابحاث دي الابستراكتس دي هتتحط في الجورنال اوف دنتال ريسيرش ابستراكت كوبس فهتبقى جود ثينج يعني اي دو كوماند تو بري هيت فلوبل كومبوزيت ريزن فور سيمنتيشن اند لوتينج اوف دنتال سيراميك فينيرز دي جيف فيري داتا ان ذا ليتشر باي ايفيدنس Search the Cochrane database, حتلاقيها مدية حاجات حلوة قوية. وI agree مع دكتور حمدي 
don't, uh, يعني it's not very good to use it in cavities uh, going into dentin. Uh, try it with the cementation and looting of indirect veneers. How do you look, sir? Okay, thank you for your recommendation. We have to leave and go to the next session.